Don't touch those buttons. You'll mess things up. Just ride the thing. Don't mess with them. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, shutter cleggers. I was just kidding. You should touch those buttons and you should learn how to set the parameters on your bike. Some of the parameters you need to leave alone and some of them you need to set to your own style of riding. So I'm going to show you the process of how to set the parameters on the first three or four parameters and then I'll just tell you what the rest of them are about and what the settings mean as you go up through the the ranges for each parameter. Okay, the way you adjust the parameters, see right now the screen is on the ride mode. The way you adjust them, you, the up and the down arrow, you push them in at the same time and hold them. The screen changes. We're at parameter one. Parameter one is the brightness of the screen. It goes from one to two to three. I suppose you want to use three if you're in a bright sunny situation. The defaults two, that's where I have mine set. Parameter two, Z zero is kilometers, one is miles per hour. Parameter three is the voltage of your battery. You can adjust that 36 volts, 24 volts, whatever. You want to set it at the voltage of your battery. The battery for the Soho bike is 48. If you don't set it there, then you'll get an uh, improper reading on the fuel gauge or the battery power gauge. They call it full and empty fuel gauge, I guess. Okay, so the rest of them I'll just talk about so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Okay, parameter 5. i got notes here so I don't mess up is the power assist grades and you have two options you have zero and one zero power assist mode one you only get three power assist on on zero power assist one you get two votes two you get three votes four you get or three you get four votes go through that again one two votes two, three volts, three, four volts. Now if you set the grade at one, which is the default, okay, first uh, grade is uh, one, you get two volts. Two, you get two and a half volts instead of three volts. Three, level three, you get three volts instead of four volts. Level four, you get three and a half volts and then level five, you get the full four votes. By setting your parameter at one, your power assist levels are more sensitive than they are on zero. So if you're a trail rider, the terrain or street rider or whatever, and the train is smooth, I think you'd want them more sensitive. That way you save some battery power. At, at level three, you're only on three volts instead of four volts, and you still got more power to go if you need it. Get the idea? Now, if you're out in the woods and you want a lot of power and a lot of power instantly, why well, then you might want to go with a zero setting to where it's less sensitive and the battery yep, uses up more power. The battery will last longer in parameter one, I think. Now, most of my riding, in fact, all my riding, I use one a power assist level one all the time and then use my chain drive gears uh, to increase the, our slower speed or less whatever you know what I'm talking about. 
All right, six, parameter six, diameter of the wheel. Default is 22. Now, why it's 22 on a 22 inch bike, I have no idea. I set mine at 20. I couldn't tell it made any difference. If you have it set grossly wrong, why then your miles per hour and your distance travel will be affected. Seven, parameter seven, is the magnet steel number for speed test. Now I have no idea what that means and everything I can read on it says leave it at the default. The default is six. Parameter eight, speed limit. You should set this according to the laws of your state. If you set it at 50, then there is no limit. Now some states require that the bike can go no longer, no faster than 15 miles an hour uh, with the battery. Uh, I found that uh, that's kind of a dumb law. On flat level ground, I can pedal at 17 miles an hour. So I, I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, <clears throat> but if you set it like for 15 or 20 or 25, whatever you want, when you reach that level, then the battery automatically turns off. When you then go below that level, the battery comes back on. Battery power comes back on. Parameter number nine. Uh, <clears throat> the default is zero. And that means what, it, what that means is that when you start pedaling, you're, instantly you've got battery. Now I set mine on one and you get a delayed start. And what the delayed start is, is about a, a half to three quarters of a turn of the pedal before the battery kicks in, before the motor on the rear wheel starts driving the bike or assisting in the drive of the bike. I like that half to three quarters of a pedal to get myself balanced and stabilized, you know, turned in the right direction, whatever. I don't like the idea the minute I touch the pedal and start turning it, why, then the power assist comes on. So, but uh, the default on that is zero. Uh, number 10 is drive mode. You have three choices, zero, one, and two. Zero is no throttle, power assist only. One is throttle only, no pedal assist. All right. Two is both throttle and pedal assist or power assist, however you want to call it. When you start turning your pedals, you got motor. Or you can stop turning the pedals and turn the throttle and you got motor. Uh, default is two. I, I might have mine set on two, although I never have used the throttle. Okay. Uh, Eleven is power assist sensitivity range. And it goes from 0 to 24. The lower the setting, uh, I think the longer your battery will last. The default is uh, 2 on that. Uh, 13, parameter 13, power magnet steel number. Now if you look down here on your bike, by the pedals, you see the little red light? There's a disc in behind that, and there's magnets on that disc. And every time a magnet goes by that little red light, why, it, it reads the bike. Can you see it? Okay, and there's magnets down there on that. Now, the number of magnets is important because the bike here is, the power assist is controlled by the magnets. Some bikes only have eight magnets, some have 12. Some bikes don't even have magnets and they have torque assist, meaning the more pressure you put on the pedal, it reads the pressure on the pedal, it activates the motor. So the faster the magnets go by, why then the less power assist you have. Saves on battery. So if you're pedaling real hard and you're going real fast and you don't need battery, why then it'll shut off. You're going faster than what the battery is, the level the battery is supposed to drive you. Kind of get the idea there? The important thing is set it at 12 for the Soho bike. You got 12 magnets. <clears throat>
parameter 14. Uh, this is the amperage, uh, 12 amp battery. You want to set it at 12. 12 is the default. Parameter 16, that zeroes the odometer out. That's all it does. You hold the upper key, the up key for five seconds, to zero the odometer out. Uh, 17, uh, power choice of function between 250 watt and 1000 watt. Well, the battery is a 500 watt battery, so that's where it should be set. Mine doesn't even have a 17 on it. It only goes to 16. 17 is not there yet. It's set at the factory. You can't really change it. 17, uh, 18. There is no 18 on mine. Uh, supposedly there's an 18 to come out, and it'll set the all the settings back to default settings. Well, that's the parameters for you. Uh, there is a way to set defaults. You can go online. There's an excellent video online on how to set the SW900 to the default settings. But I'm not sure you want to do that uh, because maybe your bike is a little different than the Soho bike and the defaults might be differently. So I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, the default from the factory, I've given you those and I've showed you how to adjust it and why you'd want to adjust it for your particular style of riding. So, get out there and enjoy your bike and in the meantime, if you found this video helpful, why well, give me a thumbs up, uh, share, and uh, subscribe if you like my channel, and ring the bell if you want notifications. In the meantime, keep those pedals turning and I'll catch you later. Bye now. I think I'll just reverse what we did this morning. Okay, I'm in still in power 